I just wanted to try to explain you a little bit about the thoughts behind the different concepts. So, on one side, you have the 43 Ocean. It's our sunbathing cruiser, right? On the other side, you have the 46 and the 49 Bullet, which is a proper performance boat with the hard top and Ullman seats and everything. In the middle, we try to create 46 and 49 Open, which is the compromise. It borrows the best of both worlds, combines performance boat with the cruiser. So you have the abilities from the performance boat and you have the interior from the, um, from the ocean, from the cruiser, bringing together uh, the best of both abilities. So all our boats comes as standard, equipped with a uh, towing eye. Uh, on this boat is certified for uh, 20,000 kilos pull. Makes it as standard, you can tow it behind your bigger boat if you like. Being a performance boat, this boat is is not equipped with an integrated bow anchor. Still, we have the option uh, to have a foldable windlass in this compartment. So in this specific boat, this is just a big storage compartment for fenders and ropes. But here you can have a foldable anchor with a rig that comes over the pontoon and into the water. Okay, so on the front deck here, you have two deck hatches as standard, creating um, overhead lights into the cabin and, and proper ventilation. On this specific boat, it's not equipped with a sun pad, but you can have a big sun pad covering all of the area in front of here. So when you, when you configure your boat, uh, you start off with the base paint for hull and deck. So on this boat, you can choose your color on the hull first and then the color on the deck. On the deck here is mostly covered by glass and flooring uh, on this boat. But it's important to think about the color because of the inner liner in the cockpit, uh, which will have the color you choose for your deck. On this boat, you can choose between uh, several flooring options. You have natural teak, you have uh, flexi teak, and you have gray and black soft grip. What you see here is black soft grip. And it's uh, all about choosing the style for your boat. Either you want it toned down, easy maintenance with the soft grip, or you want a classy, uh, more stylish look with the, uh, with the f uh, natural teak. Remember that um, flexi teak and black soft grip is difficult in uh, warmer climates. When you choose a 49 open, um, obviously you have the uh, an inboard engine, so you get this engine lid. The full long sunbed and the two coolers are standard with the inboard. If you have the uh, outboard version, you could choose several sizes sunbed to have on the aft deck. You can take a look at the configurator to see different designs, but there's one sofa and a bigger sunbed. In the cockpit area, uh, you have two options. You have the Ullman configuration, like you see here, Power boat setup, or you can have the uh, normal lounge layout from the 43. If you choose the lounge setup, it's the exact same as you have in the 43 Ocean. So you can take a look at the 43 Ocean uh, YouTube clip and see the introduction we made there. If you if you're more of the offshore guy and you want the Ullman seats, you can really choose seats from Ullman you like. Uh, in this boat we've chosen uh, the echelon seats with the low back uh, and we supply them as standard with the handhelds uh, both on the side here and in the front. If, uh, if you like to add, like in this boat you have foot rest as well. That's optional. Uh, but this space here um, is open. You can configure it whatever you want. So if you, if you have any other clever suggestions just give us a call and I'm sure we can fit this with furniture that you like. Uh, at the helm here, the driver's position is similar to the 43. So either you can properly stand up with the other seats that we looked at earlier, or uh, you can sit down with the Ullman seats like here. So you have uh, your feet properly on the ground and you have a, a proper bolster to sit in. This boat is equipped with the twin 1100s. So then it's mandatory with the uh, 
zero effort throttle, but normally we run the standard throttle for Mercury. And you have uh, two chart plotters, 16 inch, both of them, um, Simran plotters, um, chargers, thruster system uh, for instead of a boat propeller, uh, Lumi Shore lighting to adjust the lighting in the hull of the boat. So for the uh, 49 open, there's um, several different options. There's a uh, Yanmar 370 diesel option, and there's the uh, Mercury 550 diesel, diesel engine. There's Mercury Racing Twin 700s, and the top option which we have here, uh, the Mercury Twin 1100s. All right, so what we see here is the Mercury 1100. Uh, it's a nine liter engine, a dry sump engine. So you have uh, separate oil reservoirs. You have, you see here, the, um, the water intake and the filters. It's pretty massive shit. Um, this is the, uh, the most powerful drivetrain that, uh, that we use at Goldfish. Uh, and, and also one of our favorites, it's just, it, it's not allowed to say bulletproof when we're talking about mechanics, but uh, this is the closest we've ever been. With 1100s you have 2200 horsepower, it's a 9 liter V8, the boat runs 100 knots. Um, and you have, obviously, you have more than enough power in all the way from, from 5 to 100 knots. You will have a lot of the same experience with the 700s, but then it's a much smaller engine with a compressor. Uh, this is a turbo engine. Um, and with the diesels, it's, uh, uh, it's not the same performance as you get here, but it's more of a, you know, more of a cruiser, closer to the 43. The, the, what you see here brings us really into the power boat industry. Okay, so the cabin in the 49 is almost the same as you actually have in the 43 Ocean. It's a big bed, it's the wooden piece of furniture and a complete bathroom. Everything here is standard in the, in the, in the standard spec for the boat. The only thing you don't get in the 49 Bullet is the extra bed underneath the cockpit. There's not enough height there. Uh, so the, the bed here, it's 2 meters by 2 meters. You have the charging station in the front. You also have the option to have an inverter and uh, the coffee maker. Uh, and in the bathroom in the 49, it's the uh, same setup as you have in the 43. It's an electrical toilet, uh, run some fresh water. Um, you have a sink and a shower. Uh, which both has uh, cold and hot water as standard. So when building a performance boat, uh, we try to avoid uh, anchor in the bow of the boat. It creates a lot of added weight. And if you have like a, um, a anchor placed outside the, the tube, it's always a danger that the water will rip the anchor out and send it back into the boat. So that's why we have two solutions for the 46 and the 49. You either have a foldable anchor in the bow locker, or you have this aft uh, windlass. If you're just mooring for a place to swim, you can always run out the anchor here, and you tie up a little carabiner, and you hook the chain on to the, to the bow eye. And that way you're able to, to um, use the aft anchor also uh, out in the open water. There's a lot of talk of, about power consumption uh, in boating. We, in general, try to avoid the use of a generator. Uh, the reason for that is added weight, fuel consumption, uh, maintenance, and all other problems comes with another engine on board. Uh, we rather you choose to have lithium batteries and a solar panel. That's a really good combination. Uh, and also, feel free to, to add a, um, a short power, uh, so you always have topped up batteries when you start your day. So the only really big consumers in this boat is uh, the stove and hot water. Fridges uh, and the stereo and all the other stuff can run all day with no problem. Uh, but also the stove and hot water will be able to run quite a bit on your lithium batteries. I just wanted to show you what's uh, the difference when you choose an inboard and a, versus an outboard engine on uh, the open series. 
So the, the hull itself is the same, but when you have it inboard, you get this power boat tail. So this is made to cover the big drive, the big, uh, the drive legs um, and avoid any damage uh, when swimming and baiting. When you get an outboard, you don't get this engine lid. So then you're free to choose whatever furniture you want on the aft deck. Uh, and the boat is cut here and this area is drivetrain, right? It's outboards. So, and then you're able to have whole of this area as just an open deck or you can uh, have whatever kind of furniture you want on it. So let's talk about how harbor covers. Uh, if you have a hard top like this, you can have the, the covers that give you a full closed canopy, or you can have a harbor that slides in here in the windscreen and just folds around the, the poles and covers this area. Uh, if you have no hard top at all, there's a, a nice uh, harbor cover that you pull in on the in the slides and covers all of this seating area here and it gets separate covers for the furniture on the back.